Hello and welcome to this video on our latest report on the use of alternative methods to animal testing under the EU chemicals legislation REACH. My name is Tiago Pedrosa and I will be guiding you through the main findings of the report. The replacement of animal testing with alternative methods has been gaining importance over the years. Recently, the European Commission's Chemical Strategy for Sustainability specifically highlights the need to enhance the identification and assessment of substance of concern while reducing animal testing. Also, the European Citizens' Initiative urging prompt action from the European Commission to phase out animal testing gathered over 1.2 million signatures. Today, REACH is the regulatory framework that results in the largest knowledge base on chemicals in the world. It makes sure that industry gives adequate data for assessing chemical hazards while using animal testing as a last resort. This is the fifth report since the implementation of REACH 15 years ago. For the first time, the report includes a separate data analysis of newly registered substances between 2019 and 2022 following the last REACH registration deadline. We have also given additional attention in the report to ECA's activities to promote the development and use of alternative methods. Now, let's take a closer look at the main highlights of the report. The first point I would like to mention is that the analysis of the REACH registration database confirms the findings of previous editions to, of this report. Adaptations to standard information requirements continue to be used more than experimental studies, with read across being the most frequent adaptation. We have noticed, however, that there is more data generated through animal testing to investigate the long-term effects of chemicals. This is mainly due to the requests for further testing made under dossier evaluation when non-compliant adaptations were given in the registration dossiers. Nonetheless, we observe that testing strategies combining different tests are used to reduce the need to use animals. We have also observed a significant use in in vitro test methods, especially for skin corrosion and irritation, serious eye damage and eye irritation, as well as skin sensitization. Just over the last three years, 90% of the studies done for skin and eye irritation were performed in vitro, showing that when conditions are met, animal tests can be replaced. I would also like to highlight our activities to advance the development and use of alternatives. Over the years, we have promoted the use of new approach methodologies, particularly in our regulatory processes, in guidance, and with the development of the QSAR toolbox that now counts with more than 30,000 users. We have also invested in many international collaborations that aim to develop new approach methodologies within Europe and overseas in North America, Asia and Australia, and more globally at the OECD level. You can read more about these activities and progress made in the report. Finally, the report also gives our initial reflections on the fundamental elements of the current regulatory framework that should be maintained for a gradual replacement of the animal testing in hazard assessments. I encourage you to read the report where you can find more statistics and further analysis as well as reflections on the path towards full replacement of animal testing. Thank you for watching.